In this episode of Beginner's Guide to Evernote, I'm going to take you through tags. Hello and welcome to another beginner's guide to Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this third part I'm going to introduce you to tagging. Now for those of you who are just really starting out with Evernote and you probably have say less than 100 notes, tagging won't be that essential. But once you start building up your note collection and you've got them scattered in different places and you've picked up like in my case, I have about four to five thousand notes now in, Ever, in Evernote. What I do need to do is I need the addition of tags to help me to find the notes that I really need. And that is this topic of this episode. So I'm going to show you how to create tags and how to add tags to your notes. Now, before we go any further, though, I would just like to say if you like this episode, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. OK, let's get into Evernote and I'll start showing you all the things you need to know about tags. OK, I'm going to keep this quite simple for now because we're just dealing with the basics of tags. Now, essentially what I've done is I've created uh, two additional notes so I can show you how to set them up, two things that I'm actually interested in and we're going to add tags to those in a moment. But let's go to the tags section of Evernote. Now at the moment obviously we've got no new tags and when you do have a tag this option here new tag is not going to be there. Now you could pre-set up your tags if you wish and all you would need to do that is just add tag. Now that depends if you want to have a strict organization structure that you want to follow for yourself. For me I prefer to create tags on the fly. Now I've tried quite a few different ways of tagging in the past. I've been using Evernote for about nine years now or just over nine years. But in my recent reorganization of Evernote I went back to just a normal I suppose traditional filing cabinet way of organizing my tags and that's just the topic and just adding it in. So there's a couple of ways you can do it as I say you can add plus new tag and that will give you the option just to type in new tag. Uh, now I've created that what I'm going to do is if you hit the uh, control button and tap um, you can actually delete the tag from there. That's how you do that by the way. But I'm going to go back to the basics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the way that I prefer to do it because it just it helps me. So what I've got here is an article related to uh, James Bond movies. Now for those of you who don't know I am a huge huge fan of James Bond movies and so here are a list of all the top movies in order of what was really bad. I totally disagree with this one because um, I actually really do um, love these movies. I wouldn't say that You Only Live Twice is the number one uh, and I probably would disagree that Casino Royale in that, well actually Casino Royale was probably a bad one. Die Another Day, I would disagree with some of these but anyway these are all the list of the James Bond movies I'm going off topic. So what we've got is we've got this in inbox and let's say this is definitely personal so I'm just going to hit my I'm going to move that to personal but the thing is if you do that what's going to happen is I'll show you that tag that note is going to disappear. So what you need to do is to actually do this a slightly different way. We're going to move that back to inbox. What you would do is when you're processing everything is you process by tag first. So what I'm going to do here is this is related to James Bond and so I'm going to type in James Bond movies. Now I'm doing that actually I'm British we don't use movie we use films so I'm just going to hit that and that's now create once you hit return that's going to create that tag. Then I can move that into my personal and I'm just going to do that move and it's gone and it's been tagged. Now here's one that I've got about The Rock and his training schedule which is absolutely crazy and I just found it very very interesting article maybe one day I might want to start exercising in the same way. So I'm now this one's an interesting one because first of all we're dealing with a person, The Rock. So I'm going to put Dwayne 
The Rock Johnson. Now, please remember uh, and hit return. That creates the tag. I'm also going to create another tag called Exercise. And I'm going to hit there. And that's basically that. And again, I'm going to call that a personal one. So I'm going to hit personal and I'm going to move that to my personal stack. And that's going to go. And then we're going to move it. It just takes a few minutes sometimes, um, but that's going to go. And now we've got thoughts. Now, this is the one that we created last week when I was showing you what you could do with a note. And let's just say now this is related to, say, planning. And so I would create a tag called planning. And let's say I'm also is my 2019 plan because it's a good time of the year, by the way, to do that. So I would create a tag 2019 plan. I could then put that into my personal and move. And once that's done, it's gone, as you can see. Now let's open up the tag section. So what we've got now is we've got these tags set up. So essentially, now I can go into tags and I can just hit that one, double tap it, and it's going to give me the rock. Uh, I can go back to my tags and say let's exercise. And it's highlighted, as you notice. These ones are greyed out, but this is now uh, highlighted. On it's dark, so it shows me that this is two. Uh, I can double click on my James Bond films and that's going to come up with all my James Bond films. And that's how you create tags. Now, personally, I would recommend that you create tags on the fly. But if you want to have a more structured or a more organized way of organizing your tags, then by all means, pre-plan them. Now, there's a couple of other ways that you can do this. And I'm going to create a new tag. What you can do is you can start using symbols. So let's say we'll use the colon and I'm going to type in James Bond. Um, let's create uh, another colon one and I'll show you how what happens here. We'll call it uh, Dwayne uh, The Rock Johnson. Forgive me if I'm spelling his name wrong. So what you see now is these have come under the, the colon. So if I'm looking for, if I'm going, let's go into a note here. I'm going to my personal, we'll go to, to this one. And I want to find a note. And what I can do is, let's just remove these. Uh, I won't remove exercise, but I'm going to remove uh, Dwayne Johnson. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type the colon, and you'll see that I get the drop-down menu. And that now gives me uh, the option just to click on Dwayne and hit return, and it will allow me to go in there. Now, you can use this with any symbols. Now, the thing about using symbols are they will always appear at the top of your search. You'll see the hashtag here, which means we're talking about the search. Numbers, of course, also will always start up at the top. So if you really want to, you could actually change that round to, to that plan. To rename a tag, you just hit the control and tap. I'm going to rename the tag. I'm just going to change that round to plan. 2019 what will happen now is that's gone down to the p so it's entirely up to you whether you want to do that numbers symbols will always come up at the top and then letters after that this is how your tags are organized now as i say if you've only if you've got less than 100 notes it probably isn't going to be a big problem but if you do have thousands of notes in there tagging is a great way for searching and we're going to be doing search in another episode so I won't go into that right now but those will just give you a few ideas of how you can tag but tagging is a very personal thing don't necessarily follow what other people are doing unless you feel it works for you and I would also add that right at the very beginning of your time with Evernote is a good time to experiment with tagging and find what works for you I have discovered that actually simple, old-fashioned filing cabinet tagging system works best for me, just the way my brain works. Maybe you prefer a much more structured way. That's entirely up to you. It really is a very, very personal way of finding the way that's going to work for you. Uh, a lot of people find that the symbols work and the drop-down menu. There's so many different ways of tagging. So while you're new to Evernote, I would strongly recommend that you have a play around and si find out which way to it works best for you. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details 
in the show notes below.